Hi, this is Bipolar Scrapbooking. It has been a while since I have uploaded any um, video. And that's because everybody in my house caught a cold, a little bug. And also, I have been quite busy reorganizing my scrap room. So it has been absolutely nuts. I had this little bookcase. I bought it from Walmart. I believe it was um, $12 or $18. And I had it in my kid's closet. I had that one and another one in my kid's closet for quite a while. And I realized, hmm, this will be good. Plus, it's nice and neat. And all I have to do is just put a little sort of like a curtain. I Velcro it. And when I need to get something, I just take it and then take whatever I need and close it back. Velcro it back. But all that stuff you see right now is not where it's going to end up. I'm just trying to just get everything somewhere and then tackle it little by little. I am going to leave the clip ups there. And my table's a mess, little by little. And this was actually a mountain. And now I brought it down to that. Um, I kept this. I, I really love my idea here. And it works really good. Remember, these are the side panels for wood paneling. This is just what you would put in the corners. And, and then I put my stamps on there. And, and it works really nice. I, color, I painted it the, way, the color I wanted with the acrylic paints. And it works great. I changed this. It was a very bright pink, and as you can tell, when someone walks into the house, you walk in, and then, yes, you could see my scrapbook area. Okay, so um, I basically have all this closed up, and this table lifted up, and then it just looks like a big uh, kind of a wall unit, but it's all closed up, so you can't see that. Um, I changed the setting of my tables I used to have a table right there where I did my scrapbooking right in front of the window the problem was is that the light was just so bright that I did I wouldn't do my scrapbooking in the daytime in the morning so I'd like to change that since the nighttime I am going to bed early um, changes I've done okay let me go back to Sorry, let me cover this so I don't make you dizzy. Um, let me go back to what I said in the very beginning. Yeah, I changed this and I'm just keeping my LeBlanc's um, stamps here. So I, I really like the fact that it, it's white. I, I, I really like the fact that I'm leaving it like that. And then I just put these really big, for me they're big, uh, background this isn't the background this is just a regular one but like I said I'm just putting things in close to where I'm going to have it and then and then I'll put it away okay so here I'm still putting things all away I'm not gonna keep saying this and uh, I'm not done with that okay I want to put the beautiful box at the passion for craft had send me for a swap which is absolutely beautiful and so I'm gonna keep that and I'm, I want to display it somewhere where everyone can see it it's very beautiful I redid my velcro it's all redone and I can't tell you how expensive this darn uh, velcro is so um, I actually had to stop doing the black one which is what I originally wanted to do and I ended up, I found some clear and then I put the clear right this is something I just you know I basically just close the door and no one sees it at all right 
and then when I open it it's just for me to view so who cares so I I had more of the um, alcohol inks and I had the these stickles I haven't bought any more of because I realized I can make my own so I'm trying to finish these and uh, put some more drawers up there because I had them so and I had them before all over the place and so now I'm just gonna put it in here so people can't see it all my glitter is here um, my flower my flower soft is up there I haven't finished I still have more okay down here I'm still organizing so I have the these little bags that are like angel uh, what are these I forget the name of it these are called um, Angela uh, Angelina they're called Angelina and it's a hot fix okay basically you iron the fiber here and so if you can see the iridescence on it you um, iron it and it you can iron it into the shape of a page you could iron it onto a piece of paper glue it a little bit of glue and it holds on so it's your own fiber that you can iron on and it's just cray cray it's really beautiful I, I only used it for one project and I'd like to continue to use this I don't know if this gives it justice hold on a second uh, one of them fell but uh, and the other one fell now but let me see if I can show you with better lighting Where? I did use it. It's just the other one I used completely. And I like this so much. I'm sorry if I'm moving this a lot. I'm just trying to open up a container. Um, there's a block here. Alright, let's see if I can find... See, I can't take you over there. So I don't want to get you dizzy. So let's see if I can show you better here. See, it's a fiber. You know? In this fiber, you basically get your little iron and you put it really, it just depends how you want it. You could thicken it up, you can thin it out, and when you iron this, it turns flat into like a piece of paper. See that? It's beautiful fiber. It just really is beautiful, like tinsel. Okay? Wonder if I put it on something black. Can you see that better? Oh yeah, you can. See that? I can't just turn camera out of. Nice, isn't it? So if you want to know what this is, embellishment, and if you want to read what that says, It's really awesome. Okay, just in case you wanted to know and read up on it. All right. So, I changed this um, how I sit, and I really, I, I, I really love to be enclosed. So that I actually have access as I move my chair over here. I can access this table if I move my chair over here just very slowly. Then I have this table. So I'm designating this table for my cry cut. My imagine. Okay, cry cut over here because there's a lot of space right there. All this won't be there. Neither would this. And then here is basically all my knickknacks. I haven't filled them all up yet. So these are all my knickknacks, okay, my cutting, cutting um, table, and um, all of, uh, I made all this, and in my other videos you'll, you can see that, 
I and I put all my pen, pens and markers and so on and so on. I just recently made this one so that I could put all my inks, my tiny little inks here. And I made that one and this one for the the Ranger uh, stains, I believe. Distressed stains from Tim Holtz. Okay, so I put it in there and it's all good to go. And then I could add some more stuff there if I want. Um, I had I had done this a long time.